Indonesian President Joko Widodo on Wednesday officially handed over the G20 presidency to India at the end of the summit of the bloc's leaders in Bali. The group of 20 major economies adopted a joint leaders declaration and produced other partnerships. Jokowi as the president is known, he said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's departure statement ahead of his recent foreign visit read, "In a significant moment for our country and citizens, President of Indonesia Joko Widodo will hand over the G20 presidency to India at the closing ceremony of the Bali summit. India will officially assume the G20 presidency on 1st December 2022. I will also extend my personal invitation to G20 members and other invitees to a G20 summit next year." Arvind Kejriwal's Aam Aadmi Party has alleged that its candidate in Gujarat has been missing along with his family since yesterday. BJP has kidnapped AAP candidate Kanchan Jariwala, Manish Sisodia said today. Kanchan Jariwala is AAP's candidate from Surat East. Mr Sisodia said that the BJP was panicking about losing the Gujarat election and had therefore resorted to kidnapping an AAP candidate. AAP candidate from Surat East from Gujarat Kanchan Jariwala who was allegedly kidnapped last evening took his nomination back today. AAP has claimed that he was being pressured by BJP to withdraw his nomination. Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Bhupendra Patel on Wednesday held a road show in Ghatlodia in Gujarat's Ahmedabad ahead of nomination filing by the Chief Minister for the upcoming assembly elections. Shah will accompany Patel during the filing of the nominations for the polls. Earlier on Tuesday, Union Home Minister Amit Shah exuded confidence in the BJP forming government in the upcoming Gujarat assembly elections and said that the party will break all the records and win with the most number of seats. Speaking to the media here, Shah said that BJP in this assembly elections will break all the records. and win with the most number of seats and will form the government with a majority Shah hailed the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel and said that they are giving pace to the developmental work in the state UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has given the go ahead for 3000 visas for young professionals from India to live and work in the UK each year. Highlighting the strength of the UK India migration and mobility partnership agreed last year, the British government said that India is the first visa national country to benefit from such a scheme. Today the UK India Young Professional Scheme was confirmed offering 3000 places to 18 to 30 year old degree educated Indian nationals to come to the UK to live and work for up to 2 years. The UK Prime Minister's office said in a tweet under the new UK India Young Professional Scheme the UK will provide 3000 visas each year to degree educated Indian citizens between the ages of 18 and 30 who wish to visit the country and work there for up to 2 years. Music